Good morning and Merry Christmas to all of you out there. Um, this is a special service. It's just 30 minutes long. It's going to have music and readings and candle lightings. No message today, so I don't need to put the minute mark where the message begins. The worship service is the message. We hope you'll stay with us for 30 minutes and enjoy some of our best hymns and readings from the Christmas season, specifically Christmas Day. Thanks for being with us this morning. Good morning, Al Rock. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Welcome to a special service this morning. Um, it's going to be abbreviated, approximately 30 minutes. We are going to have a series of readings and a couple extra hymns. And uh, Patricia and I are going to light the Advent wreath candles toward the end of the service. And you're receiving a candle right now because we're going to um, light them for Silent Night at the end of the service, dim the lights and have one of those moments that I hope that you'll always remember um, here at Out Rock. Let's take a look at our announcements briefly. Our first announcement is that uh, today, Christmas Day, we will have worship from 10 until 10.30 approximately. The next announcement is this Wednesday, November 28th, neither Jean Martino nor I will be doing a study. We're taking a break for the Christmas, New Year's holiday. So next, this coming Wednesday, the 28th, no study. But on January the 4th, 2023, here it comes. Um, the Wednesday studies will resume with Jean Martino at 11 a.m. Eastern time uh, at the Jean Martino Jr. Facebook page. And uh, Wednesday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern, we will uh, resume with our Wednesday night panel live stream or Zoom. And if you haven't seen the one from Wednesday, it's hilarious. Please watch it. We laughed so hard. It was really good. Any other announcements? Yes. Well, good. <laughs> from your Al Rock family, we are grateful that Jane keeps us in music. <coughs> Thank you. Very Merry much. Christmas from all of us. Thank you. Thank she does keep us in and music. And Bert keeps us in the word. And Bert keeps us in the world, okay. And Sandra keeps us straight. <laughs> and Sandra keeps us straight, yes indeed. Make sure we don't run off the road. <laughs> you make the world a merrier place. One smile at a time, happy holidays, Merry Christmas to your Alvarok family. Why, thank you so much. That touches me. Thank you. It's very sweet. And it gets this day started off so well. Thank you. Any other announcements? By the way, um, Patricia, some of you who weren't here last week, Patricia's got a little gift for you, so don't run off just too quickly. She'll probably hand it to you before the end of the service, but if she doesn't, uh, hang in for just a second. She's got something for you. Other announcements? Lord, this is the day we celebrate, the day for which we await. We stand in yearning and in awe for what you've accomplished by joining us human in the flesh we celebrate that this day its mystery and its power as you demonstrate to us through weakness what your strength means and not through hubris but from humility you offer yourself to us we give thanks and glory to God in the highest we pray all these things in Jesus name amen our scripture reading is on the back of your bulletin, Isaiah 9, 2 through 6. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nations, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder, dividing plunder, for the yoke of their burden 
and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, even broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all of the garments rolled in blood shall be born as fuel for fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Our hymn is Joy to the World, 246 in your red United Methodist hymnal. As you are able, let's stand together and sing 246. We added James Senate last week, and we also added uh, Paula and family traveling to New York, and we added, uh, by request of Sandra, we added Karen. Is that your sister? Mm -hmm. yeah. How's she doing? Not any better. Not any better. What are we praying for for her? Sorry to hear that. Um, I want to add a friend, um, and these are old friends. Um, I knew Kathy Hudson back in uh, college and introduced her to my lonely best high school friend, Ren Knight, thinking that, well, we'll just have a double date, and then they went and got married. I don't know. What did I do? But they have a lovely family, um, grandkids and all, and so Kathy's got COVID for Christmas. So uh, we don't know about Wren yet. Wren doesn't seem to have it. But um, they've got her on meds, and hopefully after five days we'll know one way or the other. Um, I'm going to see my mom today. God willing, uh, she's, did what, she's doing well this week, and we're going to be meeting for um, Christmas lunch today at 1.30 at my sister's house in Decatur. So um, 
I hope your gatherings, whatever they are today, no matter how big or how humble, I hope they go beautifully for you with your family, friends, and others. And by the way, it's great to be together on Christmas Day with y'all. It's awesome. I'm excited. Um, who else on here might we add or give an update? Ooh, I need to update Scott. Scott has developed spurs on the knee that's already worn down bone to bone, so now he can't bend his leg. So please pray for Scott. He's just trying to hold out until that February 3rd surgery knee replacement. He, he's just trying to hold out, and that's a lot of pain. And I know how tough he is, and you know he, he can stand pain, but this is not this is not pretty. So please pray for him and for Sean. Um, others on here to pray for or add or maybe take off? Uh, is that you back there in the back of the cells? Yes? Yes, I'm uh, traveling next uh, weekend for my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. You're going to be... Going to L.A. <laughs> are, you, are you 21 yet? I'm 16. <laughs> <laughs> Where are y'all gonna go to? LA. LA? Yeah. We're getting away from this cold. <laughs> Unless you go to the coast and then the temperature drops 10 degrees, 20 degrees, right? <laughs> Get that cold Pacific Ocean. But yeah, in LA it should be pretty warm. If it's not on fire. <laughs> Did you know I lived out there for about six months? Hmm. In the LA area? Yeah, I lived um, in Arcadia near Pasadena. <clears throat> Hello, California friends. It's been a long time. Um, anyone else? You can take Callan off. She's doing well. Excellent. But put us on because we're going to Fort Worth on Thursday. Got it. Others? No updates? Nobody that can come off? Anyone to add? It's good to see you, Connell. I'm so glad you're here. Or whatever it is, name you go on Facebook. I, I, I don't. You. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to leave again, too. Oh, oh. Do you want to go on the list for your travels? You gonna be all right? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Anyone else? Let's pray together. Lord, for Scott and the pain that he's enduring and his upcoming surgery, we pray your mercy and your presence and power. We pray for my mom's continuing quality of life and good health and family. We give thanks for Callum's recovery. We pray for Kathy and Wren uh, as they are facing COVID issues during the holiday season. We pray for James, who uh, sent and who's had a diagnosis that's difficult. Pray your blessings upon him. Pray for Karen, who uh, is still struggling with the doctors to discover a diagnosis and figure this thing out. Uh, we pray for our travelers, Lasell and I and David and Ann and Connell and others. We pray for Paula, who's away with her family traveling. We ask this morning that you would cheer our hearts with glad tidings of great joy, good news to all the people, a good news that we share with everyone, of God's presence among us, Emmanuel, God with us sharing our lives as human beings born in humility into a family of love. 
we give thanks for your sacrifice, for your humble emptying, for your stooping to be with us, for your relinquishing what you once had in your glory for the sake of us, and for joining us as a teacher, showing us the way to go, the way of God, for coming to us as a human being, showing us what we can be and will be one day, for coming to us as someone willing not only to serve, but born to serve, and to sacrifice, and to lay down his life for the sheep. We pray for our flock, and all those flocks around the world worshiping and celebrating this day. We pray for a peace in Bethlehem, and that services today have been and will be beautiful all day long. We thank you for the chance to gather here together, and help us to see the colors of this moment. Help us fix upon the light that transcends the lights of the tree and the garlands. Help us see the one who illuminates all things and brings light and life into the world. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus, who taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Our next hymn is Good Christian Friends. We're skipping the scripture because it's a duplicate. Um, our next hymn is Good Christian Friends Rejoice. That's 224 in your red United Methodist hymnal. As you're able, let's stand and sing 224. generously to us. Allow our giving in response to be filled with generosity and with joy and with hope. Make us cheerful givers. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
standing for our responsive reading. That is number 815. It goes to 816. It's in the back of the red hymnal. Psalm 96. Page 1, 815. 815. Let's remain standing and read responsibly. <clears throat> oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing, sing to, to the Lord. Lord. Bless, Bless God's, God's name. name. Proclaim God's, God's salvation, salvation from day, day to day. Declare the Lord's glory among the nations, the Lord's marvelous works among all the peoples. For great, great is the Lord, and greatly great to be praised, to be, to be feared above all gods. gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor, Honor and majesty are before the Lord, Lord in whose sanctuary are strength, strength and, and beauty. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and come into the courts of the Lord. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before the Lord, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The Lord has established the world. It shall never be moved. The Lord will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the fields exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the wood sing for joy before the Lord who comes to judge the earth. The Lord will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Our hymn is Hark the Herald Angels Sing 240. Let's turn in our red United Methodist hymnal and remain standing as you are able. 240. Patricia, will you join me? <clears throat> but God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. 
But God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Jesus Christ is the true reason for hope, peace, joy, and love in this season and forever. Thus, we light the Advent candles of hope, peace, joy, and love. As we light the Christ candle, celebrating the end of Advent and the arrival of Christ and Christmas, let us remember how our Savior came once as a lowly baby, that the world through him might be saved, and how he will return one day in glory. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The world came flesh, made its dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. This candle is the Christ candle because it identifies who Jesus is. John 8, 12 says, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but you'll have the light of life. Amen. Amen. Does everyone have a candle? The one on the star is you. The And as we pass the light of Christ to the members of the congregation, we're preparing to sing Silent Night together. We're going to dim these lights and just have a moment. It's going to be hymn number 239. And we are almost all lit. Now I'm going to dim the lights. I'm hoping you're still going to be able to read the words to the hymn. 239, I also hope that you will not light your hymnal on fire. Back there in the back. Let's sing together Silent Night.
the tie, the line of Christ. And let your light so shine that all may see his works in you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, a Merry Christmas to you all, and a blessed day of remembrance and celebration for you and yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So glad you were with us this morning. I hope you have a blessed day with family, friends. I hope that you have uh, a blessed season as well this coming week as we finish out the new year. I look forward to seeing you again. I won't see you on Wednesday. Remember, we're not having studies. Gene's not having his, and neither am I. So no studies this coming Wednesday the 28th, but we'll be back with you after the first of the year on Wednesday the 4th. Gene Martino at Lafayette United Methodist Church and all those beautiful people up there will be getting together at 10 Central, 11 Eastern to do the Bible study for, with Gene Martino. And then Wednesday night, the 4th of January, 2023, we'll resume 6.30's Wednesday night panel. Hope you'll join us. Um, we'll see you next Sunday. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.